quite brazen with the Lord of Spirits. It is you who should worry about keeping up with me. All right, that's the Mila we know. We'll be right behind you. Just keeps getting better. 
I feel much stronger. You're really coming into your own. says the Neither was a cruise ship that plied Olympia's oceans. It ended up here 20 years ago when part of the schism ruptured. Wait a minute. That's when the Olympian army broke through the schism. They did what? How could they break through from Olympia's without the lands of Kresnik? I don't know the details. The original lands of Kresnik was developed by the Olympian army. What do you know about it? Not much more. I know the current Lance of Kresnik was modeled after it. And your people made it because they wanted spirits. Olympias is a world built on and developed around Spyrex. They're the foundation of our entire civilization. Why can't you find a different foundation for your civilization? I bet all Olympia's people are big, fat, lying barbarians just like Alvin. Oh, now I'm a barbarian as well as a liar? It's not as simple as just giving up Spyrexes for some other technology. We're not like you. We don't have mana lobes. Wait, what? We can't wield spirit arts. We lack the ability to manipulate mana. So you use Spyrexes instead? Exactly. Damn it! They put up barrier bars. Ooh, pretty! Careful. Touch one and you'll be sliced in two. What? What should we do? Security report. We've energized the barrier bars in the central sector. However, we're having trouble activating them in other sectors. What? Is something wrong with the generators? Negative. Both generators are functioning normally. The malfunction must lie elsewhere. We can't disengage the central barrier bars. Use every available soldier to guard the port and starboard generators. Defend them with your lives. Yes, sir. Good timing. It appears these bars will disappear if we disable the generators on the port and starboard sides. Okay, let's find them. This way. Hurry. Mila, you're bleeding. Stop for a second. Huh? I hadn't noticed. They must have caught me off guard. <laughs> Even the mighty Maxwell needs to keep her head in the game. As if I wouldn't know that. Sorry. It's okay. There you go. All taken care of. Let's keep going. <sighs> Alvin, didn't you tell me that your weapon channeled fire spirits? Ah, sorry. That was a lie. I don't have a mana lobe, so I can't channel anything. Yet your weapon doesn't seem to be Spyrex-based. Even I'm not foolish enough to pack Spyrex around the Lord of Spirits. What's it like to not have a mana lobe? It feels perfectly normal to me. What's it feel like to have one? Is it fun being able to control spirits? I wouldn't say fun, exactly. It does have its downsides. Like, our skill with spirit arts pretty much determines our future. Ah, uh, yeah, that doesn't apply to Spyrex. It's the same for everyone. Indeed. It kills spirits regardless of who uses it. Ah, uh, come on. Don't look at me like that. We may not have mana lobes, but the people of Olympias are still the human beings you love so much.
Liberty, please. My natural grace and talent need no such qualifiers. There's still more? How big is this stupid boat? Focus! 
Roger that. We're sending additional troops your way.
Trust. Are you sure? I won't let anyone down.
reinforcements to starboard side. Defend your positions to the last man. Hostiles! Oh, 
fighting the only answer? infiltrated the port sector. We need to reinforce the port side defenses. Port sector, roger that. We're sending additional troops your what? way. Now's our 
Coordination between us. The link of three generations? Whoa, whoa, hey, I'm not that old. Excellent. sector.
You ready? Okay! Dispatching reinforcements to starboard side. Defend your positions to the last man. a gentle touch. That's just spoils of war. I'm just getting started.
has infiltrated the port sector. We need to reinforce the port side defenses. Port sector, roger that. We're sending additional troops your way. Yeah! 
I need to proceed in a more efficient fashion. between us. The link of three generations? Whoa, whoa, hey, I'm not that old. That wasn't too bad.
barrier bars should be gone now. Let's return to the there. central hall. Don't get killed. Taking your items, that's just spoils of war.
has infiltrated the port sector. We need to reinforce the port side defenses. Port sector, roger that. We're sending additional troops your way.
still do better. There's always room for improvement.
but a pleasant surprise. How considerate of you to deliver Maxwell right to me. Tell me, Alfred Vincent, why is it that you have betrayed us? It's simple. Because the truth is I've always despised you. I see. So you're prepared to spend the rest of your life in Riza Maxia. Like that matters to me. <laughs> How'd you do that? I didn't feel any spirits die. What's going on? Eat this! So you're Maxwell. You look quite a bit different now. Be quiet! Who told you to speak? Yes, Master. What the heck was that? Why are you taking orders from that big jerk? It's only natural for tools to obey their wielders. The only tool here is you! Spirits and humans are supposed to live in harmony! My servant here is hardly your garden variety type spirit. She's actually a spyrite. What? We used boosters to recreate the spirit Celsius from the spirit fossil in which she lay dormant. She is the physical manifestation of a spirit art itself. So now you're using the spyrite's mana to perform arts? <laughs> and that's why she's a tool. Does it all make sense now? How could you? You're despicable! So that's why you took Tipo's Gata? How could you do that to him? Little lady, I need to personally thank you for that. You told us precisely how to give birth to the Spyrites. And how to turn Riza Maxia into energy. I take it those aren't tears of joy, little lady. <laughs> How can you be such a monster? Conductor, I thought the curtain closed on your career long ago. Why insist on an encore even now? I'll have you know that I'm as stubborn as my king, Gilland. And I'm not about to forgive you for toying with his life. We won't lose to you. No way! <laughs> Is that supposed to frighten me? You really should know your place, boy. You don't have the power or ambition to make good on such threats. You, of all people, have no right to talk of power or ambition. But you know, you use them both for your twisted objectives. I have little interest at all in continuing this conversation. But answer this one question. Do you know the difference between you and Jude? <laughs> As if I care. As I thought. That's exactly what makes you a fool. The Lance is schooling up to absorb more mana. Come, Maxwell. I'll allow you to live. However... The rest of you will die! I will protect all in Riza Maxia, people and spirits alike. That's it, Gilland! This madness ends right now! Oh, 
Let's show him. that of the great spirits the power of spyrite doesn't matter gillen's ambitions end here just keeps getting better i feel much stronger you're really coming into your own excellent that wasn't too bad all right never stop improving No, not now. Not when we finally created a spyrite. Damn it. The only thing you really want to do is gain favor with the outside to boost your influence. What's the point in making these spyrites or whatever you call them? Spyrites are different from Spyrex devices. They allow us to wield incredible power without consuming spirits. Olympias is overflowing with people and technology, and we need Spyrites to sustain ourselves. What are you talking about? As spirits have become scarce, so has the mana in Olympias. Our world is now doomed to fade away. So that is why you implemented the Otherworld Reactor Plan. But it's your fault. For getting hooked on Spyrex to begin with, now you have to live with the consequences. But if Spyrites become commonplace, the people of Olympias will have all the mana they need. Isn't it a bit late for that? You were the ones who chose to rely on Spyrex 2,000 years ago. That wasn't me! of Risa Maxia. Our, our plan can proceed so long as the schism exists. Everything you've done is for nothing! Is he dead now? Perhaps that was the price he had to pay for using Celsius. It was a high price to pay, even for that much power. Well, I'll be taking this back. Glendor, you'll cement. Goodbye, Uncle. Has everything been settled now? You just missed it. This doesn't feel right. Not at all. Exodus must abandon their plans. They must be forced to, for the sake of Riza Maxia. Right.